Have you ever had a user ask you why they're not getting workflow emails? Or have you ever been working with a user and they're like, hey, I sent this invoice to this customer, but they say they didn't get it. Hi, my name is Alicia, and today I wanna to talk about emailing from D365 Finance and Supply Chain. So there's three things I wanna show you today. One, I wanna show you how to test the email to make sure that it is going out. The second thing is how to look at the email history so you can see the, the note or the body of the email that went out, as well as recent emails. And then the third thing I wanna to talk to you about is when you're doing, you're sending out an email from D365, by default, it's gonna show that it's coming from you. So it's usually your work email address. However, you may want it to come across as a bit more generic. So there's a setting where you can actually change who the email is being sent from. So to get started today, the first thing we're gonna do is go under System Administration, and then under Setup, Email, and Email Parameters. So you're gonna notice that right off the bat, I have a warning at the top of my screen telling me that the SMTP username has an invalid password. Well, I don't know the password, so we're not gonna be doing SMTP today, uh, but the process I'm gonna show you can be used for SMTP, email, or exchange. On the left-hand side, you see it says configuration, SMTP settings, and test email. So we're gonna be looking at test email. So if you click on that, we're gonna select first off our email, email option, and here I'm gonna type in my work email address. And then here you can see it looks like it's coming from, right, my login um, email address, and I'll show you in a minute how to change that. Um, so here, if we just say send test email, at the top it'll say that the email was sent, and if I open it here, you'll see what the email will look like. Uh, you'll also notice it has an attachment to show you that attachments um, are being included. So there's that one. The other one is this email exchange. So if we go to exchange, and again, send, say send test email, at the top it says test email was sent. Um, so we'll give it just a couple minutes to actually pop into my inbox and then um, we'll take a look at that one as well. In the meantime, how do you know what emails went out um, and how do you know what they look like? Um, so to do that, you can click on this view email history and here you're going to get a list of all the emails that went out. Uh, it's just going to show you the subject line, the sent date, um, the email recipient, the sender, and so on. Um, the other thing that you can do, if you go under System Administration, and then under Periodic, and then Email Processing and Batch Email Sending Status, here you're gonna be able to see all the emails that are, are either waiting to go out or have failed. Um, and then like, if you wanna see what the email is about or you wanna resend it, you can say Restart to Send here, or you can say Show Message, and then that'll show you the message. This one didn't have one show message and that's there. So just so that you do have a way of looking these things up, um, again, there are shortcuts here to get you back to email parameters and different things. So you can kind of navigate um, across those. So I'm gonna check my email and let's see if we have an email now. And we do, and I will pull that over here, fantastic. Um, again, you can see the body of the email as well as the attachment. Um, so our email is working for the email and the exchange. The third thing I want to show you today is how to change who the email is from. Um, we're going to do that by going to user options. So you can click this little cog in the upper right hand corner and go into user options. Or you can go into system administration, users, users, and then here you can go into the user and user options here as well. I'm gonna click the little cog and say user options. Um, if you go under account, this is where you can actually change the sender email. And again, you may want that to be a little bit more, a gen, more like a generic type box uh, or something like that, but that's where you change it. Uh, one other thing I wanna show you, if a user is saying they're not getting their workflow emails, um, it could be that they have disabled those. So if a user does not wanna get the emails from workflows, they can go turn this off. If they do wanna get them, they can turn them on. So I hope you find this helpful, and the next time you have an emailing issue, I hope you give it a try. 